I'm going to show you how to divide your data into columns by dates. In sheet one, I have approximately 1,100 readings, and they're all associated to one year. They would like to have these divided, these readings divided by year so that they can analyze them easily. So I wrote a VBA macro, and so I'm just going to go to sheet two to show you when it runs because it works onto there. And so I'm going to macros and I name this break into years and I go run. And there you see it's divided every one of your years. And then it has all the associated data beneath it. So let me just clear this first. And um, let me go through the code and I'll show you how I did it. So let me tell you about my code. I have uh, called it break into years, and then I declared dim as an integer, which is a row number on our sheet one. X is the column number on sheet two. Y is the row number on, sh on sheet two. Now, I'm did figuring out what my last row is, so I'm uh, calling dim last row as an integer, and then last row equals worksheet sheet one, so uh, sheet one columns row count. So I'm going about uh, the A column and I'm finding the very end and then I'm coming up. And so that's the last row. And so R being the row on the sheet one would be two because I have headings. And then X is, uh, is the column on sheet two and Y is the row on sheet two. And so now for for the for R2, which is the row here, and then for the last row, what you're going to do is all of these steps. So now the first thing, so I'm just going to click to sheet two here so we can see it go. Um, okay, so let why don't I F F8 through it and then we can see it go through. Okay. So let's F8. Okay, so the first thing it's doing here is it's checking to see whether uh, sheet one, R1 offset, so the one below the, the R1, so if the, if the cell below is equal to the cell above it, then Y equals one, which so it's at the top row of the second sheet, X equals X plus one, so it was zero here, so now it's gonna be the first column. And then uh, worksheets sheet two cells x y equals worksheet sheet one r one. And so let's just F8 for a minute until we get down to here. Okay, so now we have the year in there. And then we go through another loop here. We were, uh, we're saying worksheets sheet two cells x. Um, X, Y equals worksheet sheet, sheet one cells R2. Now this is the data and not the, not the year. Okay, so we're gonna keep putting that in that. And so we go, and then we're gonna do a do while loop. And we're gonna do while sheets, sheet one cells R1, one below offset one equals this, they're both the same, the one above and the one below is the same. And then we're going to keep going. So I'm going to go fast through here. And then you're going to get to the point when they're not equal. And so when they're not equal, then you're going to go, to, go and put the next year on the next one. And then you're going to continue through all the rest. So I found this very interesting to write. It's kind of a tricky little one. Um, I will, of course, include the, the code in the description of my video. This is how you divide your data into columns by dates. Please subscribe.